captains, and obviously you're one of them. What, what does it mean to be you, – you, you've been a captain both these years. One year, JG picked them. This year, the players voted. So uh, what does that mean that everybody seems to consider you on that level? Oh, yeah, man. You know, it feels good to get, you know, the respect from your peers. Uh, I feel like it means doing the right things. Um, you know, I talk when, need, when I need to talk. I don't try to do too much. I really just try to lead by example. So definitely feel good to know that my teammates – uh, see me as a captain, and uh, some I don't take lightly. When you're voting for captain, what are the things that you're considering? What do you want your captains to be like? Uh, just be a leader. Uh, try to do things the right way all the time. You know, nobody perfect. Um, be accountable. Uh, be somebody that, you know, the guys can go to. Uh, you know, just be a good teammate, man. Just because you're a captain, I don't put you above nobody. You know what I mean? We all on the same level, but, uh, you know, it's just it's a good honor. Out to James when you're thinking about those kinds of characteristics about him? James Conner? Yeah. I mean, he's one of the hardest workers I've been around. He always in here um, getting extra work. Um, he talk when he need to talk, but, uh, you know, you just see the work he puts in, and, uh, you know, he got a lot of good results from it. Uh, last year he was having a, a great year before the injury, and, uh, you know, you just got to respect a guy like that. JG was you, you talked about how you're not above anybody else just because you're a captain and he was mentioning that there's a lot of leaders in that locker room beyond just the four of you guys what have you seen from the guys that JG and Monty have wanted to bring in that lends itself in the locker room to have that kind of leadership whether you're a captain or not oh yeah it's great like Justin Jones a guy that I got drafted with He's a guy that uh, I actually I voted for him to be a captain, um, but you know obviously he didn't get it. But he's a captain in my eyes. Dennis Gardak, another captain in my eyes. So you know there's a lot of captains in the room, but you know he just picked four this year. So you know that's what it came down to. But we got it's more than four captains on this team, to be honest. Is it important to have some of those guys that lead by example and those guys that are a little more vocal about it? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I done been around a lot of rah rah guys. I, I think I said this before. They go out there and don't do nothing. <laughs> then you got guys who just lead by example and they go out there and perform. That's I, I like that approach better. Lead by example and, and talk when you need to when you need to talk. Do the vibes feel different this week with. Oh yeah, dude. That yeah, game week, preseason a little long winded, so it felt good to get out there and you know it, it count. So. What are, you, what are you expecting out of this defense? So many of you guys didn't play a whole lot in the preseason. So. Um, I'm expecting us to go out there, have fun, fly around, make a lot of plays, turnovers. And, uh, you know, I see they got us, like, we're going to be ranked last in the NFL, all that. So, you know, that's just motivation for us, fuel to the fire. We don't really care about what nobody got to say, but, you know, we definitely hear it, so it's definitely fuel to the fire for us. Is it hard to avoid all that outside chatter? Uh, yeah, because everybody on their phone, social media, you see, you know, you see it pop up as much as you want to say you don't see it. You definitely see it. But, uh, you know, you just got to tunnel that and put it in the right, um, you know, type of motivation or fuel, whatever you need to do for yourself to, you know, just prove them people wrong. How do you do that? Do you, do you talk about it? Do you guys talk about it together? Uh, sometimes, but it ain't nothing that we like, oh, my God, they said this about us. Everybody got something to say. We got to go out there and play. Uh, you know, we get paid just like those guys, and uh, we're going to see what's going to happen Sunday. What makes you think you guys are ready to contend this year? Because um, I see what we got in the locker room. I see how we practice. I see the demeanor of the players we got on this team, uh, coaches too, top to bottom. I feel like it's our second year together. Um, so I just feel like we know each other better. Relationships got stronger. And I feel like when those things happen, uh, you know, the product going to be better. How different is where, we, where you are this year compared to where you are at this point last year. Me? Yeah, just personally. Well, I just, more so the team. Oh, the team? Like, the vibe yeah, I just feel like we're more more comfortable. Last year, everybody kind of trying to get to know each other and stuff like that. Like It's like going to a new school, you know. you there the first year, you just getting your feet wet. The second year, you're more comfortable, might talk a little more, know more, you know what I'm saying? So it was like that. Entering last year, obviously, you didn't have Kyle, right? So you had, you had, you had Josh as your quarterback. You just got him right around this time. So. In terms of that aspect of like not like kind of having some instability last year compared to this year, how different is that? Oh yeah, it's different. Uh, you know, having Kyler uh, healthy, you know, he the number one pick for a reason. So it's definitely uh, great to have a special guy, a special uh, player like that. Uh, you know, healthy and gonna go out there and win his games. JG's a really high energy leadership kind of dude. You've been here both years that he's been here. Have you seen that kind of trickle down to everybody on the team? Um. Uh, I think JG is just being himself and uh, 
everybody else on the team, you know, we know the uh, mentality he has. So, you know, he's instilling that in us. And uh, I just feel like everybody, you know, you either going to match his uh, standards or you won't be here or you won't be playing one or the two.